so in this video we are going to uh, install Hadoop on a single node so, so first of all we will open uh, the terminal and then we will update the we will use the command sudo apt update to update the system and the password is 1234 after this we are going to install uh, SSH so now we will install SSH we will hit Y enter then we will you install PDSH and then um, export the, uh, the PDSH into the bash HRC file. So now we will use SSS keygen to generate the key, then we will cat it, use the cat command and then we will log into the local host using SSH. Now we will install open java jdk8 and enter the password 1234 and then wait for it to be installed.
so as we can see now Java has been installed uh, now we'll check the version which is Java minus version hold on a second okay so now we'll uh, check the Java version and then we'll download the uh, Hadoop so this link is not accessible so we'll grab the link and then download the Hadoop and wait And now we we'll, uh, have we have downloaded it, and now we uh, unpack it using the tar file, tar extension, and then we will move the Hadoop to um, uh, Hadoop, Hadoop 3.21 to Hadoop. And then we will use Nano Hadoop etc to open the shaw file and paste the OpenJDK path as Java Home. And then save it. Then we will uh, move the Hadoop folder to user local Hadoop uh, directory, and then we will open the uh, environment and then paste the path for uh, OpenJDK and everything into the environment path. And we will save it then. Now we'll make a uh, make a new user Hadoop user into the password and then hit enter and then give all the permissions to the uh, Hadoop user and then we will open the host and see what is the name of the host which is uh, in my case Hadoop master uh, as we can see then we will uh, use the nano etc host name to see the, the host name which is also Hadoop master and then we can use sudo reboot but uh, at, uh, in, like shutting down the terminal would also work closing down the terminal will also work so to close the terminal we reopen the terminal and we will log into the Hadoop user using Hadoop uh, su minus Hadoop user 
and one two three four is the password and then we will SSS key gen and uh, Hadoop user and hit enter and then we will copy the Hadoop master now as we can see as my uh, as my uh, username was Hadoop master without a hyphen we will use uh, Hadoop master uh, without a hyphen here and as we can see Hadoop master without a hyphen then you hit yes and enter the password that is 1234 and then we'll open the core side XML and then copy all the commands exactly the property part uh, not the configuration as a whole and then we will similarly do for the other files also And for the mapper file too, we'll copy the properties and paste it there. And after that, we are going to Says we are going to uh, you open yarn site dot xml and we will paste the uh, the properties okay now we will actually uh, open bash hrc and then paste the hadoop form level command that we need okay copy it and we'll go, we are going to paste it here at the very end of the file and then we are going to source it so that uh, all the changes are applied and then uh, what we are going to do is we are going to use stfs name node minus format for format the name nodes as we can see this uh, this is done successfully then we will open the uh, cd user local uh, hadoop and then we will start the hadoop using start all dot shaw okay there is an error rcmd socket permission denied this is due to the pdsh that we installed earlier we have to remove it and we will use the command sudo uh, we'll first of all stop it and then we will actually uh, install it uh, we'll remove the package pdsh okay so we'll use sudo uh, sudo app remove pdsh i guess So yes, we are going to use a PDC, a PDSH app to move PD, PDSH and then we will hit enter and remove it. Let me paste this at the very end of the file that I am going to share and we are going to start the Hadoop once again. So as you can see, uh, different nodes can be nodes and resource manager and node manager 
has started and now we are going to use JPS uh, JPS and as you can see all the name nodes container and data nodes have been turned on now we are going to open the local host 9870 and then we can see there is everything highlighted live nodes are one and noted nodes and now we can see here there is a data node and then we can see also the utility uh, it browses the file system and we can add it and that's the tutorial all about we have installed the node cluster thank you